you guys a lot of stuff that I've used in the past that has worked really, really, really well for me. Uh, some of this stuff you might be using right now, but in my opinion, you're not using it good enough or your results would definitely, absolutely, positively be better, all right? I, I want to throw scripts out the window and I want to focus on emotion, I want to focus on passion, and I want to focus on stories because stories are what sell, all right? Any, any author that's a good author, when John Grisham puts out a book, he automatically knows that it's going to be a New York Times number one bestseller. Do you know why? Because he can tell a good story and he's told a good story repeatedly over and over and over again. When Tarantino puts out a movie, it's going to be, you can bank on two things. It's going to be nine hours long. And if Tarantino is your cup of tea, you're going to go see that movie because Tarantino tells a really good story. Same thing with Clint Eastwood, same thing with Ron Howard, same thing with Scorsese. I, I can go on and on and on, but you get the point, okay? I'm building the value of my cookware. Before I even go into my cookware, I'm going to ask my group. Let me ask you a question. Group, suppose you could go out and buy a brand new car today, all right? For argument's sake, let's say that the nicest, fanciest sports car on the lot or SUV, whatever you need, Let's say it's $30,000. It comes with all the features, the voice command, it parks itself, it's got the backup, side, blind assist, all that sort of stuff. $30,000, right? Now, the day you're there, the salesperson says, look, there's a new car that's out. The thing is, it's, it's not, it's not $30,000, it's $60,000. But here's the difference between the cars. The $60,000 car is going to last you forever. You're never going to put gas in it. You're never going to tune it up. You're never going to change the oil. You never have to do software updates. Nothing is going to bring. You don't have to rotate the tires. The car is going to be perfect forever. Let me ask you a stupid question. Would you spend the extra 30000 and buy that car? Anyone? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, definitely. Why? Why would you? Because you don't have to pay for it again. Because it's a good investment, because driving is something you do forever, right? So it's a good investment, right? Yep. Now, if cooking and eating is something that you're going to do for the rest of your life, wouldn't it make sense to get one set of cookware one time, even if it costs a couple more dollars, and you never have to worry about it again? Absolutely. Okay, cool. That's why, and now I'm into my cookware. So I'm setting the... What I want to do, <clears throat> and the reason why I can't handle an objection... It's because I never got them. I took all the objections out during the presentation. Okay? What I did right there is I, I just set them up. My cook, what, what did I just tell them by, by doing that little story? It's the cookware is expensive. The cookware is expensive. What else did I tell them? It's going to last you forever. And what did they tell me? That they would be willing to spend the money on something that will last them. Forever. Exactly. So they already taught. They already told me they were going to buy it. Right then and there, they told me they were going to buy it. And by telling me that they were going to buy it, what did they tell themselves at the end of that story? They're gonna get it. Exactly. And at the end of the presentation, there was a guy who got up in the group and said, you know, twenty five hundred or or whatever whatever the price was. He goes, that's a lot of money for pots and pans. And another guy stood up right there in the room, unbuttoned his shirt, and he says, no, no, hold on, I want to show you something. This zipper cost me $60,000. He had he had a double, uh, double bypass on his heart, okay? $60,000 because his insurance only covered 80% of the surgery. He said he was still paying, he had it for years, and he was still paying $200 a month for what his insurance company didn't cover, okay? His whole point of standing up and showing the room the, the zipper in his chest was that if I would have been eating healthier, I would have been healthier, and I wouldn't have had to spend all this money on a double, uh, a double bypass with my heart, okay? You are what you eat. And his, his exact words, if I can go back and have this in my head, because I had it in my head at some point, 
it was it's much easier to maintain your health while you have it than it is to get it back after you lose it okay i had another lady who came out to a show um she i don't know how but she she was engaged and she bought the cookware a year earlier she put the cookware a year earlier i guess she had one of those long engagements she came out to my show she sat through the show at the end of the show she said hey aj you know i just want to tell everybody in your group that i already have this product okay great how long have you had it i've had it for a year how do you like it i love it what's your favorite part about it she goes every single week I go and I take 20 or $30 and put it in a coffee, like a coffee can that we have in the cabinet above the, uh, above the refrigerator. I said, all right, what does that mean? She goes, I'm saving 20 or $30 a week using this cookware just on my grocery bill. So I take that money and I put it in the, the coffee can or the cookie jar, whatever it was, and the cookware pays for itself. And I was like, wow, okay. And she and, and, and it made sense. And, and then I, I kind of ran with it and I said to the group, okay, so if you do it through us and you got to pay us $30 a month for two years or three years, do you think this cookware is going to stop paying for itself after those three years are up? Absolutely not. So good deal or bad deal? Let me ask you a question, all right? I'm going to come to your house every single week for the next three years and I'm gonna knock on your door. When I knock on the door, you're gonna open a door up and you're gonna give me 20 bucks and I'm gonna leave. Every single week for the next three years, okay? But before I leave, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you, I don't know, let's just say $10 back. So I'm gonna knock on the door, you're gonna open it up and hand me a 20 and I'm gonna hand you a 10, all right? For three years. Not such a good deal right now, right? But check this out. At the end of the three years, I'm going to keep coming to your house every single week for the rest of your life. The difference now is when you open that door up, you're not going to give me anything. And I'm going to keep giving you that $10 every single week for the rest of your life. Would you take this deal? Why would you take it? Because yeah. in the long run, you win, right?